<laughs> so this captain thing, it did not affect you either. Pardon? This captain decision by Chris Yapia. Yeah, that was what I said earlier. You know, when you see things, um, you react to it. You know, I saw it. I didn't like the um, decision. I reacted. You know, people spoke to me. Um, the president called me. There were a lot of people, dignitaries that spoke to me. You know, I had to just sit back. I was like, oh, okay. It's, it's part of life. You have to just put yourself together. And that's it. And it's, I didn't think about anything again. I was just there. And even... Um, that was my best camp I've ever been in the Black Stars. I was very, very happy when I was there. You know, people come to me, a lot of dignitaries come to my room, they come, hey, you are strong, man. We do appreciate everything. They even thanked me for my how I comported myself in the camp. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, so after I just, I, I just realized, oh, okay, so people were watching. Mm. You understand? Although I've forgotten about what happened, I was living a normal life, and then somebody came, hey, Charlie, 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 what you've been through and what happened and the way you are behaving in the camp, God bless you. And they will just shake me. We thank you for everything. And then I will just realize, hey, uh, so people were watching. You understand? So that is that is me. I just reacted to, to something. But after I sit back and I, I just analyze, I will say, okay, this is life and life goes on. Do you think your decision to step away from the Black Stars was a reaction? Yeah, that was what I said earlier that, um, you know, I react to things uh, when I see them. I react to things when I see them. I didn't like it as a rational human being. If you will be in my shoes, you will not like it. If you 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 were in my shoes, like things happen, all of a sudden the timing was wrong, you know. And then I got upset. Honestly, I was very very upset, mm. very very upset. Which the decision I didn't make the decision because of anything. I just wanted to play it safe. To be, to be there because the way I was upset, maybe I might do something in the camp and then they will say, Oh, because they did this, you reacted like you are destroying the camp or something. So I was playing safe. I want the peaceful to be there. So I said, Because I'm not feeling happy, let me go out so you can get your uh, freedom to do whatever you want to do. Maybe I might go there and you say something, and because I'm upset, I will say something and then they will say, Oh, he's the one causing, uh, creating confusion in the camp or something. You know, at that moment. But after when I, uh, I sat back, people spoke to me, everything. I had to forget everything. I was living a normal life and I was even, I was even the one making the, the camp lively. I was mm. cracking jokes for people. Everybody, everybody, everybody was surprised. Even some of the players came to me and they was like, we are surprised. You it's, understand? You said the timing was wrong. Yeah. The timing for that decision. Yeah. Why do you say so? I think it should have come earlier, months before. Not when the time is near to a tournament. Mm. You understand? I think the the, the timing. A coach can make a decision. Everybody can make a decision. I'm a I'm a football player. I have to abide by it. You understand? But for me, I feel like oh, I didn't do anything wrong. It has happened in most of the countries. A, a captain uh, uh, does maybe something happens, like scandal or something. It happened in England. Yeah, scandal or something. They'll be like, okay, because of what you did, you don't deserve a captain. They take it from you. But mm. this is the situation. I haven't done anything. We pre my mind was prepared for a tournament. I was focused on a tournament. I was injured. I was injured. I was just trying as much as possible to be fit to to help my nation, to help my country. You know, I I was mm. able to come back the last month for the preparation of the, uh, for the tournament. I came back to my feet. I start. I scored three goals in four games. Mm. You know, thinking, okay, oh. Pfft, Afcon, Afcon, Afcon. Like I was trying because I wasn't fit during the the season. You know, for the last month I was happy. You know, trying to come back and help my country, and then all of a sudden, bang. You understand? It's 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 a normal thing. As as a human being, I have emotion. You know, and that was why I said the timing was wrong. Oh. If maybe that time that I wasn't playing, you tell me who. Oh, this, 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 you know, you're not, no, no. okay. I understand because I'm not playing, and it's true, I'm not playing. And this is the time. So, when the question came, um, the decision came, I asked, So, if I'm there, what is going to happen? If I'm on the field, what is going to happen? The, the answers wasn't, I didn't like the answers, you know. So, I had to just <laughs> let it go. That was what made me upset. The answers from who? 
<laughs> of course the coach so you ask them so if i'm on the pitch what happens yeah what were there were there were were a lot of things like okay you are the captain um the captain has been straight from you blah blah blah. yeah we want uh, the other party to be the captain i'll say okay everybody knows me as the the captain okay it has been straight what if i'm coming on would the armband be given to me to show respect or something you said no you are are no more the captain i said okay so i was like then what am i gonna do there and he was like, okay, you're going to control everything as a general captain and stuff. I, I don't understand what the general captain. But people spoke to me, as I said, explained things to me. I was going there as a normal player who is going to die for his nation. I had to just psych myself, you know, it's, and life goes on. Things happen that I didn't like, but <laughs> what else can I do? I have to just forget it and move on. What things happened? <laughs> there are a lot of things that happen, like... Um, I don't want to say things, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you said that the, they told you about this general thing, general captain thing, and you didn't understand it earlier. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand for f- since I was since I got into football, since I, I became a professional, I didn't I didn't understand the, the the meaning of general captain. I don't understand. A captain is a captain there. So what is general captain? So if if you want somebody to be a captain, if you want somebody to be a captain. Yeah, say it. Don't say you are the general captain. No. I don't understand the meaning of the general captain. Even I, now? I don't understand. It's a title on me right now, but I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it, so I have to accept it. Mm. If you say, oh, some the general captain. Oh, okay. I will accept it. So w- what did you do as general captain? Okay. Um, it was a road. Um, he explained everything to me, which I, th- I think he... he it was quite tricky. Like, what did he say? What did he no, say? he was like, um, "Okay, you gonna control everything, everything here, you know, outside the field because of your experience and everything. Um, the captain can come to you, you know, share ideas. You know, you if you need something, like it's like you are going to control everything here in terms yeah. of the playing body, where yeah. like, like the playing body, the, okay. the players and yes. everything. Okay. And I say, okay, so what is the captain gonna do? I just said it in my mind. Like I'm thinking that now. Yes, mm. you are thinking the same yeah. thing right now. So that is why I don't understand the meaning of the general captain. I don't understand it. Okay, so uh, and let me say, a typical day, you are on the pitch. Mm-hmm. What happens? Like you are there the day. Okay. What happens? Okay, it's it's it's, it's normal. Um, as the experienced player, everybody listens to me. Okay, they know when I say things. I know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know, despite the captain, the captain is there. Um, the captain, when he's in difficulties, he he comes to me like. A reasonable guy like Andre comes to me and we say, like, "Oh Charlie, baby, Charlie, this, 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 this Charlie, what's up?" I say, "Oh, okay, I think it's good. We go. I think it's not good, you no." Know? And you say, "No, no, no, baby, what you are saying? When we do it like this, you know, it's it's like we are having conversation. Everything he comes to me and then we we discuss it together. Sometimes we involve some of the um, old players and then we, we 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 do it together. So on the field of play, when we are on the field." I can also command with my experience because um, they know what I can do and they know who I am, mm. you know. But the captain is the captain. Um, he's there. He's, so, he's also doing his job as a captain. If you were there, would you have accepted the captaincy? Honestly, if I was him, no. Mm. Because there were a lot of uh, controversies and here and there, the pressure. And... Uh, um i would say uh because we we, we had a conversation me and him mm. yeah, yeah yeah you know he also had to explain his part you know a lot, a lot of things what do you say he's a good guy you know me and the, the conversation i don't i don't so want to put it in, yeah. in in public like but he he was saying some reasonable things he is there it was given to him he had to accept he had like anybody else he had no choice he had no choice you know, but for me, the question you asked, I would mm-hmm. say, if it was you, if you, you, it was me, like this back and forth, I would say, okay, Charlie, keep your thing. Clever. Yeah, yeah. But I don't blame him. I don't. I don't blame you, uh, Andre, because he's a good guy. We we speak together. But you, you, you are interviewing me. I don't know what is on your mind. Mm-hmm. You also don't know what is on my mind. Mm-hmm. You know. So that is the relationship. We, we have we share things 
reasonable things he say things businesses even sometimes we even talk about businesses and stuff you know we advise each other but at the end of the day we are human you don't i don't know what is uh, his mind yeah so that is how we, we live in there and uh sometimes people say <laughs> me and you we fight and uh, like we have this uh rivalry mm-hmm. between us and which is not true have you ever fought with him no never never have never. you ever disagreed with Some, him sometimes we even laugh about these things in camp you understand andre is my teammate he's my national team mate when we are in camp we are professional he's my mate your captain he's my captain andre is my captain and we share things together it doesn't mean andre is my friend we are teammates mm. but there are certain things he has his friends that he tell he cannot tell me when we leave the camp i have my guys I have my friends, mm-hmm. which everybody have to respect that. I won't call Andrea and say, Charlie, let's go here. But when we are in the camp and we are going to places, I will say, oh, Charlie, what's up? The whole team make you go. Let's go. That's this. We are doing this. That's the camp. We're in the camp. But outside the camp, he, he, he also got his friends and families and stuff. You know, I also have my friends and family. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean we have any, um, how do you say it, rivalry between us. No, no, no. no. The love is still there. Sometimes even if Mayweather is going to fight, he calls me early, uh, late night. Charlie, the fight, what's up? Have you know boxing? You know something about boxing. So should I bet? I say, oh, you can bet on Mayweather. He'll win. You know, I'll analyze something. And it's oh, okay, take it, Charlie. Thank you. So there are a lot of important things that we, 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 sp- we speak about. Mm, mm, mm. What's about Chris Yapia? What about your friends with... Uh, your teammates with uh, Andre. Same thing. Uh, we have a good relationship. Mm. Um, I have a good relationship with uh, Kisiapia. If, he, if he's not a regular caller that maybe calls you and check up on you or something, mm. if he needs something which he feels like I can help, you call me. If I also need something, I feel like he can help. You call me. If I see him right now, you see us laughing. You know. But this that this an interview. This is a question I need to uh, um, answer. Frank, I have to be frank with what is going on. Mm. It doesn't mean I don't like him or something. I'm being frank here. Mm. You understand? So, um, honestly, I like him as a guy. I like his lifestyle. He also loves me. You know, we have that relationship together. But this is work. When we, we, are, we are talking about work, it's work. He feels I wasn't ready to start to be a starter. I respect that. For me, I also feel I want it in his plans. Mm. That is what I feel. Okay. With my 17 years of profes- professional uh, professionalism in football, I see things. I know and I feel I wasn't in his plans for this tournament. You know, that is what I feel. What did you see to make you feel that? Oh, there are many things that go on be on the field you know um <laughs> come on this is my 17 years this is my 16 year for in the national team uh if i'm not a starter if i'm not a starter i accept that it's a good decision but at least at least i don't want to talk about things but you everybody saw it <laughs> everybody saw it i wasn't in his plans period Mm. Uh, I was in his, uh, in his plans. You've been on the Black Stars for 16 to 17 years. Yeah. Chris Yapia hasn't. In fact, he left and he came back. Mm-hmm. Do you think he should, he should have come back? Um, that decision is it's not, it's, it's not my, my, my decision. You know, um, he came, the, the first time he came, he did well. Statistically, if you watch his stats, he, he did so well. So you, you can argue about it. When you, you bring him on board, okay, he wants to come back. You check his CV, you check his stats in the national team. You, you can argue about it. I hope he can come back. It's not somebody who came and he didn't do well. You know, his stats shows everything. So he deserves his comeback. Although he's the first uh, coach that has returned from the national team. Yeah. He's leaving. But I think he's coming back. I've no, nobody had problem with it. Maybe, of course, there are people who object to that. But I think for, for what he did before he left, he deserved to be to be to be back but you see there's what he did and there's what we did not see yeah 
So if you look at both of them, mm. would you have made that decision to bring him back? To bring him back? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. But now, do you think he should stay on? For now, for now, um, those who employed him are the ones to 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 decide. I'm a, I'm a football player who abide by coach decision. A coach can decide not to even come in for a collab. <laughs> it's not it's not my decision. It's the coach decision. But those who employed the coach see the facts. They see what is going on. If he deserves to stay, they they're gonna make the decision. At the end of the day. The fans will also say their opinion, but they will make the decision. You What's understand? your opinion? My opinion? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, things happen. We, we, human beings are not perfect. You go on a field, maybe some, sometimes tactically you go wrong, you get it wrong. Sometimes you get it right. When you get it right, people will acknowledge you for that. When you get it wrong, people will criticize you. Is he, that what happened? Did he get it wrong? He's, he's, a, he's a human being. He makes mistakes. Sometimes, yeah, we see it. Okay. This one didn't work. I'm a football player. I see it. When I go and I don't do well, coach sees it. Hey, baby, this one you didn't do well. Do it like this. It's, it's a normal thing. He's, he's not perfect. Sometimes he gets it. He, he cannot say he got everything right. Yeah, of course, he got something wrong. He got certain things wrong, which we all see. If I don't say it, I'm a hypocrite. Mm. But is that why we left the Afcon? No, 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 no. What went wrong? Sometimes you can even have your worst game. You win a game. You know, in, in in football, there are so many things happening happening in football. 2010, we didn't play that well. All the games we didn't play that well. The game that we played so well was in the final. And we lost mm. against Egypt in 2010. Mm. Mm. You know, so all these things, it it, it happens. Okay, let, we've moved a bit to the AFCON now. And um, if you just tuned in, uh, the voice you heard needs no introduction. As Samoa Jan is our guest here on the Super Morning Show. It's 18 minutes past nine. And we'll be taking your questions. Um, okay, this one says, good morning, Daniel. You see the kind of captain we have. Master, this guy is humble. I know his family. Um, I know this family, not not today. I think that's what you want to say. The brother Barfour Jan was my mate and my best friend from junior high. And even a brother. Asamwa, go, go, hi, a great asset to the nation, Papansa Teshinungwa Estates. All right. Ask Asamwa Jan about his promise to play for Kotoko before we retire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've said it. I've said it. Um, yeah, I'll play for Kotoko. Um, I've said it. I have to wear the shirt. You have to wear the shirt. Yeah, I have to wear the shirt. Kuma Pema. I have to wear the Interesting. It's still alive <laughs> with the Super Bowl. Issue. Okay, so we're talking about um, the AFCON. What went wrong? Um... <laughs> I would say, uh, as I said, it's, it's the best camp I've, I've ever been in my 16 years career on the, in the national team. Um, the president spoke to us before leaving. He delivered everything, what he had to do. Everything we asked for, he did it. So, there's no excuses. There's no excuses. We, we went there to win a tournament and it didn't happen we have to blame ourselves technical team the whole playing body you have to blame ourselves we are on the field where we know whatever we asked for they did it Every, everything went well behind the scene that was why i said it has been the best camps facilities everything everything we we asked for we what said. did you ask for facilities like sometimes we go and we sleep in hotels uh, in the past you know, we asked for it. We want this. We want this. They made sure everything was done. They made sure everything was done for us. That one, I would say, it. everything was in order. Your bonuses were paid. Everything was mm. was was in order. Everything in, in full. Everything was in order. Mm. They did everything they could. Everything we asked for, they did it. So why why didn't we? We went on the field. There are other opponents who want to win. <laughs> Sometimes we get tactical like wrong things. It's, it's normal in football one have to win you see do you think the captain thing contributed no 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 that was no that didn't affect anything the captain thing didn't affect anything you came on very late in some of the games mm -hmm. do you think you could have made a difference I think so I think so but as I said earlier um, the coach makes his decision and I, that was why I said I, wanted in, I wasn't in his plans 
if I was in his plans for, for what I've done for this country against Guinea-Bissau 2-0 and I didn't come on, Asamoah didn't come on 2-0 against Guinea-Bissau, I'm not in his plans. You should have if come on. Before, in. even be, before, I was, <laughs> I, would be, I had to be injected before playing. You understand? That is how I understood things. You know, when I was in my prime playing consistently, I have to even feel the game. When I, I'm even on the bench, I have to feel the game. You understand? This is the mm. situation we are leading. 2 0. I feel like maybe if, 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 if I'm in a coach plan, although football is collectively, but sometimes you see, so oh, this guy wants to achieve something also. 10th tournament scoring is, is 10 in 10 consecutive tournaments sometimes you need to help the player also let me help him achieve this sometimes mm. that was why i said i wasn't in his plans wow yeah, yeah. was there ever a time he asked you to warm up and you did not <laughs> sometimes uh, it's so funny it's so funny when I, I i hear these things he told me to warm up i, I did i did a warm up that was um that was against uh tunisia mm -hmm. yeah he told me to warm up earlier earlier in the second half he told me to warm up so i was um strapping my shoes and everything to make sure i get ready so when i was leaving i called a kuban to come warm with me to do the warm-up together just to accompany me because i was called they didn't call him i was the one who was called i called him and uh, we went there they're doing the warm up and unfortunately they called him to go on the field mm. yeah yeah to go on the field you know so i don't blame the coach because yeah so how did you feel bro that was why i say that instant moment you feel something after you let it go you understand certain things because i've been in the game sometimes you can be um you'll be warming up the a midfielder will be on the bench Tact for tactical reasons the coach will say okay i need a midfielder and he will go and then you will still be warming but Ikuban is a striker yes he's a striker we have different qualities maybe he needs that quality there but he asked you to warm up yes he asked me to warm up maybe okay i i, I called Ikuban with me maybe i went alone and maybe if he tells him to, to 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 come warm up too you might not know but for that moment i called Ikuban to warm with me so maybe he saw the two he, he analyzed qualities and like what he needs and then he put a kuban did you ask him why i didn't ask him why why i didn't want to I, i've never interfered in any coach's um decision i never do that maybe the coach might be protecting you i don't know i don't know sometimes things happen maybe sometimes you might not be in his plans but me i chose that one i know he i wasn't in his plans knowing that i had um knowing that i was not i wasn't in his plans uh -huh. i was just waiting for that opportunity i might get the opportunity mm. you understand Wamata was not in Borino's plans when he was in manchester united but there were some games he needed him he played a couple of games under Mourinho, but it doesn't mean he was in Mourinho's plans you know so there are certain things with my experience i've seen all these things mm. so I won't, I won't go and question a coach but do you regret going? Regret going? For the tournament? No. No, because if I say I regret going, I've disrespected um, the dignity. I've dis disrespected the president. He took a phone, called me, gone. Like, I have to forget everything. Like, everything had to go. There are a lot of people who called me. But you didn't get enough playing time. Yes. That is why I say it's a coach decision. You know, um, the fans have their opinion. They know what they know what I can do. At the, at the at the end of the day, the coach will make a decision. The coach, uh, the fans, will object to certain things. In the, in our local language, now say 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 it's it's normal. You 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 witness some, mm. you know. So he he is the one on the field. He knows what he sees. So I have no, um, I, I can't do anything about it. But what I will say is, I wasn't in his plans. And I stick to it. Well, so um, you were captain for some time. Yeah. And um, now you're general captain, which both of us are trying to understand. Maybe by the end of the interview, we will. Yeah. 
do you feel you enjoyed your reign no, as captain? Never. I didn't enjoy at all. Why not? And I, I, I should have been the person who should have enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it. When you say you should have been the person, what do you mean? Yeah. For for, for what I've done for the country. Mm. It's, 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 it's something that is there. Record the records are there. Mm. You know, the way people see me. I won't, I don't, I don't like I don't I don't want to blow my own horns, but there are certain things you need to address it. I'm so humble, despite everything. In my position, there are some people, even even f- football players, even tell me, if we had quarter of what you have, nobody will even speak to me. They tell me. Hmm. You understand? But I try to do everything. I'm the one cracking jokes in the camp. I'm the one doing all the silly things for people to just laugh. I come so low. If people Everyone's even see level. me, everybody, everybody's level. People even see me and they will say, hey, you cry, why? If I was like you, nobody would even talk to me. They even say it too. Hmm. And I'll say, this is how God created me. I can even choose to be like that. Two minutes I will change. Hmm. Because that is not how God created me. Hmm. You understand? So, how would you have enjoyed it? If you want to say, do you enjoy your reign? Like because since being, being the captain today, uh, Captain C, today, to, uh, captain has done this today uh, people are fighting over captain today that sometimes you know even my 50th goal i scored my 50th goal i had my picture on my armband it became an issue and we've seen a lot of captains who had their faces and their families on their half, uh, on their on their handband instead of we focusing on my 50th goal incredible incredible uh, 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 achievement instead of we celebrating that we focused on that why you understand sometimes i sit down and be like ah what is going on the person has scored his 50 instead of us to celebrate Rooney scored his own look at but me they say hey, he put his face on his captain and that is what people were focusing on there are a lot of things happening and we all know it you understand so i feel like now well, um, it's 29 minutes past nine here. This is the Super Morning Show on Joy FM. Asama, let me, let me ask this. I've, I've asked this before, but let me yeah. ask again. Have you been given the credit that you deserve? You know, that, that was why I said um, everybody has his, his opinion. You know, but the majority, the majority itself appreciate me a lot. That was why I said the negative things... <laughs> Secondly, it's, it's, it's very very strong like the negative stuff very very strong sometimes when somebody says negative stuff about somebody you might think ah everybody mm. you know but as i said when i go on the street when i'm around the love people show me ah, I, sometimes i even ask myself hey ah, what is going on here the same people are saying this and now the people are coming to take pictures and saying don't mind them some of them say, oh, don't mind what they are saying. You don't mind what they are saying. Who but are they, saying? But they are saying it. Yes. <laughs> you understand? So, I will take the, neg- uh, the positive part. Mm. And I'll be happy with it. Mm. When you go home, you say the negative stuff behind me. But I've enjoyed the positive part. Sometimes I do, I do see the negative part also. But that was why I said, the majority appreciate me a lot. But who are the people who didn't make you enjoy the captaincy? If we all see it, there are a lot of things going on. It's, it's, it's normal, it's natural. I don't want to address things, but we all see. Haven't you heard about Captain C issue before? No, I've heard it before. Uh-huh. So, it's what is going on. So, so, the people who discussed it, was it the players? Was it the media? Was it the management? Was it Sometimes it comes from the media. Mm. Sometimes it comes from the people who try to create controversy. They try to create rivalry. You understand? Mm. And when the odd, uh, past captains, nobody even said anything about them that oh, uh, when Stephen Appiah was the captain he had strong people behind him and it's normal they say oh, he was the best captain I've heard it before because he had strong people around him that time Richard Kiste was there 
Otoado was there, Michael Essien was there, Sule Muntari was there, Richard Kingston was there, Otoado, John Mensa, strong, strong, strong players at that time, mm. were there. Stephen Appel even didn't make decisions. I was there. I was the one scoring goals that time when they were there. You understand? So if you have strong, strong people around you, definitely. But this is the time we are here. We have young. We are building a young team. Young, somebody who wants to achieve something. A young player coming up. He is scared to say something. Yes, I in a film. They take him out. Because they, they are scared to say something. But Stephen Appiah's time, there were strong people who were saying things. A minister was in, they would tell him in his face. You are strong people at that time. But this, my, my generation, they are coming, they are young people, players coming up. They are scared, they are, they are scared to say something. Because if he, he says something, and then maybe they have, they, ah, you, you look at him and you'll be scared. So they are going to take me out from the team. No. So this is the situation. You understand? So it's... So that's why you had some of the problems you had. Yeah. Your players didn't stand up for you. Some. And it's, it's a normal thing. I don't blame players. It's, it's, it's a normal thing. But you see, some of them are still very respected in the team. Of course. And some of them have very solid positions in the team. Great. But they didn't speak up either. There are players who speak. They, they speak. Like who? Just play? No, I won't mention them. But we, we, we have players who are in the team that speak. Have but, they ever spoken for you? But that is, that is what I'm saying. That generation... <laughs> You saw, you, you see them by yourself. Mm. You understand? That's why I'm asking, has Dede ever spoken for you? Who? Dede. Andre? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he speaks. We all speak together. I mean, has he spoken up for you before? Up for me? No, we all, we all speak in, in front of um, the dignitaries, like ministers. That we all speak together. But I don't know what, go on, uh, what goes on behind. What you saw Kinsin and the others do for, for Apia, has did they ever done for you? That time, that time, meetings were, were held in front of everybody, the whole team. We sit down, the whole team, everybody says something. But now, they take like four, play, five, five players, go meet. And we have the meeting together without the young ones. But that time, it wasn't like that. You understand? Uh -huh. So that was the. Do you think that's part of the problem? <laughs> no, no, no. I won't say it's 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 part of the problem. But um, the, how the interview is going—that is how I'm answering the mm, question. So mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Well, it's 26 minutes to the top of the hour. This is the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. When we return, we move into Asamoah's future with the national team, the direction of the Black Stars going forward, the money issues, club football, the perception of corruption in Ghana football and uh, there's an intervention from a former member of the Black Stars Management Committee that I'll be sharing with you. Stay with us. This is the Super Morning Show. At AfroDan, we believe that many of the problems people have with their health is as a result of the way they sit. In other words, your chair can kill you. Here's Dr. Marcus Mann of the Chiropractic and Wellness Center. What you have to remember is that the spine is the lifeline to your body. And posture is the window to that spine. Now, posture is affected by your daily activities and habits like sitting. That's why at the Chiropractic and Wellness Centers, we recommend what I believe to be the best chairs available for preventing not only subluxations, but also other health problems that you may not be aware of. And that's Rabami and Mobilex chairs. Unfortunately, on a daily basis, I have to correct the effects of this poor sitting habit in our businessmen and businesswomen. Always remember, optimal spine equals optimum health. So, for the sake of your health, buy Robami or Mobilex chairs from Afrodan. We are on the first floor of the Swansea Shopping Arcade. Telephone 663-085. Daddy, I bet you enjoyed your trip abroad. Oh, yes. It was worth every peso. And the experience was breathtaking. The beautiful environment, the culture, and the food. Oh, my. Until I got 
terribly sick. <laughs> Perhaps from eating too many new dishes. <laughs> but you know, thanks to my Glyco travel insurance policy, all my medical bills were paid for the three days that I was on admission. Really? Glyco travel insurance policy? Yes, my dear. Glyco travel insurance is the best. Look, it covers medical and emergency services, personal assistance services, emergency return home, personal liability such as legal defense fee, loss of baggage, personal accidents, trip cancellation, or even delayed departure. And even these are the ones I remember off my head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Glyco Travel Insurance has a worldwide cover and widely accepted by embassies, both Shenzhen and non Shenzhen. Visit any of our Glyco offices nationwide or call 020 113 or 055 5305 547 for ready assistance from our experienced support team. Be safe, travel protected, and have a peace of mind. Glyco, we cushion you for life. At UBA, we pay close attention to your every detail, making you feel like a VIP every time you visit us. We have the strongest financial and technological background, making us number one in risk management. We have offices in New York, Paris, and London, and presence in 20 countries across Africa. UBA has successfully operated in Ghana for almost 15 years, with 28 branches throughout the country. Visit us today at a branch near you. UBA. Africa's Global Bank. Mr. Bossman, with all these computers, servers, and electronic equipment, I know they see one cable for the floor, crap. Charlie, you be right, too. We they use raised access floors from Interface, so all the cables they hide under the raised access floor, too. This be the solution to the plenty cables where you dim a computer room for office. Accountant, call Interface now. If you're involved in new property development, renovation, or decoration, the right place for you is Interface Limited. Call us on 0274-999999 or visit our website at www www.interfacelimited.com no one likes the siren of the ambulance. But once in a while, there is a moment in our lives where we need help and pray silently for an angel. That is why the Call Angels came into being to provide 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, round the clock ambulance cover for medical emergencies, domestic accidents, road traffic accidents, non emergency transfers, and any medical condition where professional hand is needed to get a patient to the hospital. Download the Call Angels app for free from Google or Apple Store. You can also register for value-added services by calling 18026 or star 3330 or 0302-909746. For as little as 100 Ghana C, you can guarantee you and your family for up to 5 persons priority response in addition to a 30% discount on fares for your transport request. Sign up and get that peace of mind for you and your family. Call the angels in that critical moment and we will be there. Can you know that this service is currently available in the Greater Accra region only. A great journey lies ahead of us all, but we all have different paths carved out for us. When choosing your path, make sure you choose a partner you can trust, a partner with integrity who will always stand with you and give you the support you need when you need it. No matter who you are and where you are in your journey in life, you are very significant and so is the path you're on. Consolidated Bank Ghana cherishes financial security as much as you do and shares the same value as you and that is why we are the right financial partner to stand with you we are now one of the largest banks in Ghana and we are ready to partner and work with you CBG we stand with you it's Friday! Check away, say so move in front of the sun of Kabaka and wine and wine and wine and dance. So Jagella is so compressed on the queen of the rest of the queen. Yeah, come on my yappy, but they are soon the tent and a man. She, no, she am a cancer, my cancer. Name moody and wash it. She am a good, you am a good, do you? Name moody and what did it? She am a fit, you am a good, you are coming in the more day. Good do ya. Yeah, 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 yeah